Good morning, guys. So based on today's title, you guys already know, we're headed to the junkyard to try and pick up some parts for the K24. I'm just missing a few things, miscellaneous stuff. And uh, I was talking to Alex yesterday and I was just like, now you may be asking yourself, you guys also, but, uh, but Brandon, you've got a K20 right there with everything you need inside of it. Yes and no. Yeah, could I pull that engine out and finish the K24? Like, you know, have everything I needed to kind of just button it back up? Yeah, I, probably. But the problem is, is that I still want to be able to use that K20 one day. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get deep into the plans that I have because honestly, nothing is set in stone. I could, I could do something crazy. I could, I could put it in a hearse and cut the hearse in half and drag it around the yard or I could I could swap it into a go-kart or a or or you know something you know I, I mentioned in a previous video that I may want to put it into a CRX one day because I've always loved the way that CRXs look but regardless the point is is that I don't want to have to nickel and dime that thing when I could just go ahead and nickel and dime this thing while it's still just sitting here so because uh, there's still a whole bunch of work that still has to be done to the head and all that good stuff so Anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go and try and just get all the little parts and things that we need to, you know, get this thing closer to completion. Alex was gonna come with me today, but he had some stuff come up. So uh, I'm just gonna run out there now since it's early in the morning and uh, try to beat the crowd. There shouldn't be a whole lot of people there today and uh, I'll film it the best I can. So let's go. This could be heavier, I suppose. Okay, I think I have everything I need right here. Truck's still running super good. All right, we have arrived. Doesn't seem like there's too many people here today already, but uh, more packed than I actually thought it would be at 9.30. We're gonna hop in here and see what we can find real quick. Okay, so I found one Civic. Did not have a K-Series in it, but I mean, it could be a possible candidate for getting some bolts and stuff off for sure. I've got a little wheelbarrow here with all my tools in it. And I'm starting to get slightly discouraged that I may not be able to find a K-Series in this yard. If there was a vehicle with a K-Series, it probably got pulled. That's just me guessing. Most of the imports are over on this side. You know, the, the K-20s and the K-24s came in a bunch of different cards. Uh, Accords, Civics, odysseys elements crvs like this oh my god the first k series i've seen oh my god you guys this may be the one i mean it's it's probably like a k24 a1 or something like that but uh this is yeah this is what we're looking for right here cool <laughs> as soon as i turn the camera on i find what i'm looking for cool man might be useful i don't know maybe look at this cover <laughs> oh my goodness someone took off the radiator cap for absolutely no reason whatsoever and like someone pulled off the power steering pump like why would you do that yeah that happens This cover's pretty cool. I mean, it's not really my style, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I do want this valve cover though. Huh, you know, why not? Nice. And this guy. Don't know if I'll ever need something like that, but probably wouldn't hurt to have. These coal packs are, you know, expensive. Someone might need those at some point. I've got my ground in that same position. Interesting. All right, nothing left to do it but to do it, huh? I 
I wonder what K series this is. That would, I mean, it's a, obviously it's 2.4, but like what, what model is it? That would help me determine if any of this is gonna work. I'm pretty sure this valve cover will work. Like it's just like mine, but some of these, some of the newer valve covers won't work, which I mean, this is an older CRV. So, I mean, there's no reason why it wouldn't, I don't think. The one thing I don't think I brought was a pair of pliers. Of course, I wouldn't have brought a pair of pliers. I've got these. These might be able to just barely work for what I need them to do today. I mean, just freaking barely, man. Push that back. I'm not too worried about scratching this valve cover because the plan is, is to paint it anyway. I'm not really sure where I can pry up on this thing at. I don't want to pry on it too much, you know? Looks like that's a good spot. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. There we go. That sounds loose. Definitely won't be needing these, probably. I'll give it to you, K24. You are resilient. It doesn't want to give it up, but it will. I swear I'm about to just cut it. What a battle. Oh, boy. I really do think that this is the only thing holding me back. Pretty sure at this point. There it is. Finally. Let it go. I want it more than you do. Okay, this is in my way now. Really? The sway bar of all things? There we go. Filthy. It's gonna get painted anyway, like I said. This engine does not look like it was taken care of. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do some real work here. I'll turn you guys back on if something interesting happens. Well, you guys, sorry I didn't record that fight, but if you know, you know. So, got that done. Couldn't have done it without my two breaker bars. That's for sure. Impact wasn't cutting it. Wasn't gonna cut it. Uh, I think I might keep that. I don't see an issue with it. But now, I can actually start getting all the bolts and stuff that I've been needing to get. So, not too much more to go. I think I may actually take off this engine mount to kind of lower the engine down a little bit. I'm gonna try and get as much stuff off of the top here that I can. Slowly but surely, we're getting her done. Sorry that the filming's been kind of sporadic, but you have no idea what I've been through. I'm wore out. So this bolt right here has been the bane of my existence for probably the last hour. So I had to figure out a way to pry up the engine I had to pry up the engine to get this bolt out. Ooh, and that this bolt, along with the other three that I pulled out, is part of the uh, passenger side engine mount. There shouldn't be anything 
in the direct path of the timing cover because I'm that's what we're shooting for right now is trying to get the timing cover separated from the block so I can get a couple other things inside the timing cover so if I can say cover a few more times so gonna keep you know chomping away at it um, I've just about had it for today which you know that's it's all good we're almost done which is great so there isn't much more we can get off of a, off of a k24 that we need anyway so almost there all right you guys so so far we've got a pretty good haul here i've got all the bolts that i need off of the time and chain cover i've got all the bolts off of the oil pan i've got the valve cover which says honda on it instead of honda motor company or whatever i've got the dipstick i don't know if i'm going to take that or not it depends on how much all this stuff is i don't want to spend too much i've also got the harmonic balancer i don't know if i actually need that or not probably i mean i don't, I don't know i don't know i really don't at this point it's just it's in there right now i'm kind of at a standstill because i really don't know how to get the timing cover off i figured i've got everything off of it but it's not budging i'm you know i've been kind of prying on it i'm not trying to like hurt it or anything but uh i mean it's it's separating at the top but like i don't i don't really know where it's stuck at i don't need the timing cover but i need stuff that's inside of it um if i can't get it off within the next 30 minutes or so i'm probably just gonna call it quits for today um i've got so much stuff that that i didn't have before that i'm stoked about truly it's just i hated to go through all this work well i mean i had to do it to get all the time and cover bolts anyway the, the what i need is the bolt which is right here which is hilarious that i can see it but i need the bolt that holds on basically just just the four bolts that i that i think it is that hold on the time and chain guides and you know that that stuff so that's it so it's just it's like four more bolts that i need but i'm sure i can find them if i if i really online you know just ordered them or whatever you know i'm so i mean I don't know. I'm going to keep tugging away at this. I don't want the oil pan. I thought about getting the oil pan because it is steel. Aluminum oil pan bolts and steel oil pan bolts are different, which is why I needed them. This thing got bottomed out or something. Like, it's totally screwed up. I was lucky I was able to get all of the, the bolts off of it. I mean, there just must be something I'm missing. I've got everything off of the timing cover. Like, every single bolt. There's 12 bolts. i got the harmonic balancer off. I've got all the bolts that are holding on all the sensors, I guess. I mean... I really don't know what else it could be and it's not the uh, tensioner um, cover plate because like I said I've got one of these sitting at home so like I don't know if it's like the oil pressure sending unit or something that's I, I really don't know <sighs> I'm too big and too old to be doing this but <sighs> hello hello yeah I can't see dick I can't see anything Hello, I come in peace. Uh, VTEC solenoid's gone. Cool, I didn't even notice that. Guys, I just, I just don't freaking know, man. I can't see. Like everything is off. I really, I'm at a loss. I really don't know. So, like I said, I might be calling it quits here pretty soon if I can't get this figured out. I mean, yeah, like seriously, I've got everything off. It might be the pan. That's holding it on because it's like the engine's supported being supported by the pan right now so i mean that that could definitely be a problem so like i said i'm not going to keep filming because this is just boring stuff just sit me here grunting uh so if i if i make headway i'll let you guys know but if not no big deal feel pretty happy about what we've done here today okay you guys i'm done i couldn't get a timing cover off but i did the best i could so uh thank you crv for helping us go fast. I really appreciate it. So let's take our haul and get out of here. <laughs> you guys, when I tell you that I got a haul, oh man, I, I got a haul. So let me get all my tools put up first. Then we'll talk about what I got. Okay, so I don't think I have anything in this bag. It's just tools got my sunglasses though that's neat okay so what i got was is i got all these spare bolts just you know miscellaneous stuff for k series engines got all those i also got all the bolts for the 
timing cover and all the bolts for the oil pan that we already have. I also got stuff that I didn't necessarily need, an extra K24 dipstick, which I did. I, I literally didn't need this, but I was like, ah, it's, it's not broken, so I'm taking it. A K24 harmonic balancer pulley, which I don't even know if that'll work on a K24A2, but you know, can't hurt. And the creme de la creme, something I've been after for a while, a Honda K-series valve cover that just says Honda on it, instead of like in little letters, Honda Motor Company. I got all that. Take a quick guess what I, what I gave for all of it. Like, honestly, I mean, if you look it up, these valve covers alone, I'll look it up on my phone here in a little bit, but these valve covers alone, I've seen them on eBay, specifically these ones that say Honda on them. I've seen them on eBay go for like 150, maybe even $200 if it's cleaned up a little bit. 48 bucks for all this stuff I got. <laughs> that is incredible. Y'all know I got the AC on now. <laughs> it got warm out there. It got warmer than I thought it was going to get today. It's, it's, truck says it's 72 degrees, but dang, I got hot out there. I am stoked at what I got out of there with and the price. Like, I, I thought, oh, I'm going to get this valve cover. They're going to see this valve cover and it's going to be like, uh, my bill is going to be like $150. And I promised my wife I wasn't going to spend no $100 at the dead gum junkyard. <laughs> I didn't really tell them I was gonna film. I'm trying doing kind of like a forgiveness versus permission kind of thing, but that's that's awesome. I'm very satisfied with what I was able to get because like if I were to source all those parts individually, I'd be in at 300 bucks, maybe even more. Like it's no joke, because I've tried, trust me. I'm gonna look up what a Honda valve cover goes for. I remember back when I first got the K24, I, I actually made a video about it. You guys click on the card if I remember to put it up. Uh, I actually ordered a K20, K24 crankshaft bolt, and that sucker cost me 15 bucks, easily. Uh, I don't know how much further this video is gonna go, you guys. I, I'm, I'm gonna say that my junkyard adventure was a total freaking success. Sure, I didn't get the four bolts that I was looking for, and we, there wasn't a K20 in the lot, at least not what I saw, but uh, I will definitely be going back there to see what other stuff I can find. So. In case this is the end, you guys, I just want to say thank you very much for, for coming along this journey with me today. Really do appreciate y'all's support and your viewership, your subscriptions, all that good stuff. Hit that like button if you really want to. And uh, remember to tip your vegetables and eat your waitresses. Share my videos with your dog. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a great freaking day. Okay, so I may have been a little overzealous. <laughs> That, that, you know, K20, K24 Honda valve cover is 75 bucks. But I have seen them much more expensive. And maybe now that I think about it, it's like, you know, if they're very well powder coated or something like that. But regardless, I still got out of there cheaper than the cost of, you know, the average priced valve cover. So yeah, cool.